Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, a mystery woman pops up out of nowhere, claiming she's the real mother of little Lilibet, Harry and Meghan's daughter. I mean, talk about a plot twist. This is like a soap opera met a royal documentary and had a baby with the National Enquirer. Now, before we dive into this royal dumpster fire, let's take a moment to appreciate the sheer audacity of it all. This woman's story is more far-fetched than the idea of Prince Charles doing the Macarena at a royal wedding. It's like she watched one too many episodes of Long Lost Family and thought, hey, I could do that with a royal baby. But wait, it gets juicier. This mystery mom claims she gave birth in a small hospital in a remote part of Africa. Because you know, that's where all the secret royal babies come from, right? It's like she's trying to create the origin story for a superhero. But instead of a radioactive spider, we've got a conveniently vague African hospital. Now, I know what you're thinking. But critic, surely there's some evidence to back this up. Oh, you sweet summer child. Evidence is so last season. Who needs facts when you've got tears and a dramatic backstory? It's like she's auditioning for Britain's Got Talent. Conspiracy Theory Edition. But let's break this down for a hot second. This woman claimed she put Lilibet up for adoption, and then poof the baby ends up with Harry and Meghan. It's like she thinks the royal family shops for babies on Craigslist. Gently used royal hair, barely cried, will trade for a corgi and a tin of biscuits. And can we talk about the timing for a moment? This woman conveniently comes forward now, years after Lilibet's birth. Where was she when Meghan was parading around with a baby bump the size of Big Ben? Was she too busy binge-watching The Crown to notice? But you know what really tickles my funny bone. It's the way this woman is going about her fight for justice. She's reached out to Buckingham Palace, because obviously, that's where all the baby-swapping secrets are kept. I'm sure the Queen, rest her soul, had a special filing cabinet labeled Secret Royal Babies, right next to Corgi Feeding Schedule and Philip's Best Dad Jokes. And let's not forget about the poor adoption agency that's apparently pulled a Houdini and disappeared into thin air. It's like they're running some kind of baby black market. Sorry, Mom, we have no record of your case. Have you tried looking under royal shenanigans? But here's the kicker, folks. This woman claims she spent every penny on lawyers and investigators. I mean, come on. If you're going to make up a story, at least make yourself a secret millionaire or something. It's like she's trying to win the pity Olympics while accusing the royals of baby napping. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm all for a good David versus Goliath story. But this, this is more like Chicken Little versus Buckingham Palace. And let me tell you, that sky ain't falling, honey. It's just your credibility. But you know what really grinds my gears? It's the way this story is being lapped up by some folks. We've got people out here calling for investigations, acting like this is Watergate 2.0, Royal Baby Edition. Come on, people, use your noodles. If the royals were in the business of snatching babies, don't you think William and Kate would have a few more running around by now? And let's not forget about poor Harry and Meghan in all this. They're probably sitting in their Montecito mansion, sipping on some organic fair trade ethically sourced tea, when suddenly their phones blow up with notifications. Congrats, you're baby thieves now. It's like getting accused of shoplifting when you've got the receipt in your hand. But here's the thing that really makes me chuckle. This woman is out here saying she doesn't want money or fame. Um, honey. You're accusing the world's most famous family of baby snatching. If you didn't want attention, you picked the wrong family to mess with. It's like trying to stay dry while jumping into the ocean. So, what's the moral of this royal soap opera? Well, for starters, maybe don't accuse people of stealing babies without, oh, I don't know, a shred of evidence. And if you're going to concoct a conspiracy theory, at least make it believable. Aliens? Sure. Lizard people? Why not? But secret African baby adoptions? That's where we draw the line. But most importantly, remember that when you point a finger at someone, there are three pointing back at you. This mystery woman is out here accusing the royals of some pretty serious stuff. But honey, the only thing that's seriously questionable here is your story. So, 
What do you think, YouTube fam? Is this the plot of the next big Netflix series, or just another day in the wild world of royal rumors? Will we see Lilibet on a future episode of Maury for a royal paternity test? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more royal tea, served piping hot, and with a side of brutal honesty. Remember, in the Game of Thrones, you either win, or you end up concocting wild conspiracy theories about royal babies. There is no middle ground, so stay tuned, my friends, because if there's one thing I've learned from watching the royals, it's that the drama never stops, and neither do I. Until then, folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.